Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Janelle and today I have for you a makeup empties video. So here's all the makeup that I finished up in the month of January 2022. So if you want to see everything that I finished up, then just give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe because I do post this video every single month here on my channel. And now let's jump right in. I quickly wanted to mention the foundation that I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury um, Beautiful Skin Foundation. What do you guys think about it? Does it look nice on me? Um, I use a different primer and I'm liking this a little bit more. Has more of a glow because it was looking very patchy on me whenever I just applied it over a very neutral primer in the sense of it's not going to give you a lot of glow. It's not going to mattify um, that type of thing. So yeah, um, I'm wearing it over the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless filter and i think i like this finish a lot more i did set it with powder but i can see my natural oil is already peeking through but that's not why we're here i'll leave down my initial first impressions link down below and now let's go ahead and talk about this stuff speaking of charlotte i did finish off the airbrush flawless foundation and i have mine in the shade four neutral um i'll open it up so you can see that I finished this off. It was in a project pan and there's nothing left in there. I was applying it every day. I do kind of miss it, but I do like more of a natural or dewy type of foundation. This is um, matte. So yeah, it is very full coverage and I like it for that sense. But these days I'm going more for a light to medium coverage foundation or a skin tint so this isn't something i need right now but if my preferences change or if i miss it then i would repurchase it but for now and my skin type and my wants and needs um this is probably not one i will repurchase at the moment another charlotte Tilbury product that was in my project pan for this year is this highlighter right here it's the hollywood superstar glow highlighter and i had the tiniest bit left and the pan when I threw it in the project pan and now there's nothing left. I did finish up the majority of this in 2020 and in 2021. So it did take me a while to finish off this highlighter. But it's gone. I loved it. It was more slightly pinky but had like a champagne type shade to it. It was super gorgeous. A little bit thicker of a formula. This was limited edition so they don't make and sell this anymore. But um, if Charlotte Tilbury ever re re <laughs> releases a highlight in this big form like this, I would repurchase, which I think she might because it is a refillable um, pan. So this type of pan does pop out. Let me see if I can get it out without a pin. No, the magnet's pretty strong. I can't get it out without hurting myself. So yeah, hopefully she releases a another type of highlighter in this form. Okay, here we go with some more Project Pan stuff. I did finish off this Marc Jacobs. This is their glossy lipstick or something like that. And this sticker fell off, but it was in the shade Mocha Chocolate. And as you see, nothing comes up anymore. And I dug out everything. This was, let me see if I can get a swatch. This was a very glossy, beautiful brownish pink color. So easy to use just slap it all over my lips every time i would wear a nude um i like the scent and everything like that so it was a nice one uh mark jacobs is rebranding so everything they sell is or has been on sale so who knows what if this will come back um when they revamp their line or not but it was nice while i had it and yeah I, i'm glad to have finished this up Next up, I finished up this primer by Rare Beauty. It is the Always an Optimus Illuminating Primer. And this was just a little sample that I got in a Sephora favorites. And it was pretty nice. It came out like in a white shade and it was kind of pearly and I put it all over my face. I really didn't see much of a difference. It's not like gonna make you look glittery even though it looks like it. Um, so yeah, it just gives a nice radiance to the face without overpowering your face so it was decent i um would use it if i would get it again for free but it's not something i would seek out you have some more project pan stuff this is a lip gloss that was in my project pan it's the mark jacobs lip gloss and it was in the shade um french tickler so yeah again you can't get this i did take the stopper out of this one i'm not able to reach the very bottom but i used as much as i could up and i was just using this like a lip balm 
and just applying it while I was sitting around the house. Next is the Smoke Makeup um, Eyeliner. I don't remember which Project Pan this was in, either my yearly one or one of the other ones that I'm participating in, but this is the eyeliner in BCC, which is a white shade, and I'm not able to roll it up anymore, so I don't... There, I kind of got a swatch for you. Came with like a smudgy tip. It didn't really last in my uh, waterline, so I wouldn't repurchase this. I got this in a boxy charm, but it was just okay for me. Next, I did finish off a eyeliner, which is very rare for me because I don't really like pencil eyeliners. I'm more of a liquid eyeliner girl. And this was the Urban Decay um, Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero. I wasn't able to sharpen it more than this, so this is all that we had and it was more of a deluxe size so it was probably about that big when i received it instead of being however long the full sizes are um so yeah i was wearing like um like a smudged eyeliner on the top i would just kind of draw it and then go over with a um like an angled brush with some eyeshadow and kind of like smudge it um so yeah that's the way i was wearing it so if you've seen any of my december and january videos where i was wearing like a smudgy top eyeliner it's this if you guys want a tutorial on it i can do that for you um it's a very sophisticated nice look and it's kind of trending you see a lot of girls wearing it on ig and also the model so if you want that like uh Gigi hadid type look this is a great eyeliner to smudge on the top i really liked it and I'm using another eyeliner from a different brand and it's not the same so I would definitely repurchase this and these go on sale quite these go on sale quite frequently on Ulta and Sephora. Next I have this mascara. This is the Dior Show mascara from Dior and it is a pretty nice one. This was a sample so I felt like it dried out more just because it's like the makeup is like in the tube there's not like really a stopper in there and it does have this beautiful nice thick brush and like I would wiggle it through my eyelashes and get these dark full eyelashes. Today I'm wearing a Charlotte Tilbury one and I feel like it just kind of lengthens them. But it's not going to thicken them so it doesn't really look like I have a million lashes. And this one was a great one and I really love combining it with this other mascara. Um, and that one was the Gucci one which I'm still working on. And I also love mixing the Gucci one with this one which is the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift which just looks like this. And this one is a great one only ten dollars at the drugstore it has this type of one a little bit smaller than the dior one um but yeah this is just drying and flaking on my eyes now i know you guys can see that there's a little bit left on there but i'm not going to use that on my eyes my eyes are way too sensitive and this is just a sample and this one lasted me a month or two and this one about a month so yeah i'm i'm glad to have gotten two mascaras out i can kind of expect to finish off about too many mascaras per month um so yeah we'll just see how much we finish off as the year goes by but yeah two great mascaras if you're looking for high end or drugstore or both moving on to skincare i did finish this little sample of the glossier priming moisturizer it was nice and thick and like very nourishing on the skin i can see this um being a great primer and your makeup laying nicely on top so i can see why they call it the priming moisturizer so i could have counted it in the makeup section but i just counted it in the skincare section and then this other moisturizer that's an spf it's called the cerave ultra white moisturizing lotion with sunscreen for normal to oily skin and it has spf 30. this one i loved as you guys can see i used every last bit of it it does come with a pump it costs 18.99 on the ulta website so i definitely will repurchase this i'm trying to go through some more typical sunscreens first once i go through those more traditional type i will purchase this lotion because it's easy to just pop pop this on and not have to do moisturizer and sunscreen so this is like a two-in-one for me and i use it as a primer um i will not do my makeup unless i have this um so yeah i would apply this first and then my other types of primers and foundation or whatnot but very very good one very lightweight i used to use this when i had very oily skin and it worked well for me and it works well for me now that i have drier skin um for skincare i also did use this clinique moisture surge overnight mask this is what this one looks like it was just a little sample that i got and it was fine it did have like that silicone feel to it slightly and um it was just okay i wouldn't purchase it but i would definitely use it if i 
where to get it for free. So it was okay. I did forget to mention this MAC Fix Plus in the makeup section. I'm not able to get out the little bit that's in there. It does have a spray and it's not spraying. And if it does spray, it's spraying very uneven. So this um, was either a gift with purchase or something like that. Or it came like with the full size one. Um, and yeah, I love the original one. I love the scented ones. Um, I kind of like the scent over some of the more scented ones. Um, it just, I use it like a refreshing spray um or to make my face not look powdery anymore to wet my sponge if i'm wetting any eyeshadow or anything like anything like that this is great so i always have a bottle around i will continue to always purchase mac fix plus next i do have two fragrances i do have c passion by giorgio armani it's the eau de parfum and this one was nice but I like some of the other um, sprays a little bit more. So um, I don't think I would buy this one. But again, if I get samples of it, I'm not opposed to using it. And then the Dior J'adore is this one. This one's a little bit more mature for me. Don't really like the scent. I'm a little bit more sensitive. If you're a little more sensitive to scents, I would skip it on this one. I use this one up as a room spray. Next, I did finish up this Sally Hansen Hard as Nails extreme this is in the shade 219 strobe light and it's just this more iridescent glittery shade it does have like a mauvey tint to the background with like rainbowy glitters and as you guys can see i finished up all of it and this is one that i own for about three to four years so it was about time that it just died um yeah i use it more like an accent nail if i wanted glittery nails i would just top it on every single nail or i also use this to project pan um use it as a marker so that's why I finished up this one. I'm going to give you guys some numbers. I do have a goal of using up $3,000 worth of makeup. And if I don't meet that goal, then I would like to finish up $3,000 worth of makeup, skincare, hair care, nails, all that stuff like wrapped together. So our total for makeup this month is $204.24. So I do have to step it up a little bit if I want to finish up $3,000 worth of makeup this year. For fragrance, I did finish up $5.46 worth of fragrance. For skincare, I did finish up $22.58. And for nails, $3.59. So I will tell you all my totals next month and we'll just keep doing it like that until the end of the year. I will add up all my skincare, nail care, everything together um, and tell you those different totals as well as my individual makeup totals. And if I don't reach $3,000, then we'll add it all up and see everything that i use beauty wise so i hope you all enjoyed i will see you all in my next video take care Mwah. bye